ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಫೋರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರ್ ಪ್ರಭು ರಾಮ್ ಲಾಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ್ ಆಶ್ರಮ್ ಎ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಅರೈವ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಾಶಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಲೌಡ್ ರಾಮ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಎ ಸೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಸೆಡ್ ದೈ ಫೇಮ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಸೀಕ್ ದೈ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ various scriptures i read yet unconvinced to thee i came the gita that was sung in dwapar i want to know the same its various version perplex the mind hard it seems you are yogi like lord krishna explain what exactly it means shri prabhu ji said pandit about various scriptures you said those of yoga as well as philosophy you have read vyasa composed the gita called it the scripture of yoga the dialogue of krishna and arjuna in the form of upanishad comprising wonderful parts of yoga life's very essence especially raj yoga of patanjali herein we find its presence The Gita is a scripture of Raj Yoga by Yama Niyama it starts realization of god by devotion divine wisdom it imparts Pandit said Gita comprises yoga of Patanjali none said it ever please dispel my doubt make the concept clear Shri Prabhu ji said all i shall explain in a respective context dear the gita consists of 18 chapters set in a specific order each title contains word yoga 18 times it appears learn the gita in the same order all the doubts it clears 18 lessons of yoga the creation of vyasa unique scriptures of yoga called Shrimad Bhagavad Gita. The chapters have specific names. Divine wisdom these bestow. The ways to realize God, nothing remains beyond to know. Defined 18 forms of yoga. Union with God these teach. I name all those titles here and sanctify my speech. Vishad Yoga is the first chapter, second is Sankhya Yoga. Karma Yoga is third, fourth is Wisdom Karma Sanyas Yoga. Karma Sanyas Yoga is fifth, sixth Yoga of Atam Sanyam. Seventh, Gyan Vigyan Yoga. Eighth, Yoga of Akshar Brahma. Ninth, Raj Vidya Raj Guhya Yoga. educates all about devotion 10th is vibhuti yoga 11th yoga of vishwarup darshan 12th bhakti yoga kshetra kshetragya vibhag is 13th 14th gunatray vibhag yoga purushottam yoga 15th devasur sampadi bhag yoga the 16th chapter Shraddha Traya Vibhag Yoga is 17th in order. Moksha Sanyas Yoga preaches the 18th chapter. Beyond doubt thus, the Gita is a yogic scripture. About the Gita in distinct words, Pandit learnt the fact. Various views he had heard appeared out of context. Pandit said, O oh Lord dear, At thy lotus feet humbly I beseech. New wisdom I learnt today. The entire Gita now you teach. Shri Prabhuji saw Pandit's curiosity, accepted his request and unfolded to him the Gita's often overlooked aspects. In war it was sung, to all mankind its teachings extend. The world itself is like a war everyone must comprehend. Another aspect it shows the attainment of divine power. 
while sitting afar Sanjay saw every scene of the war. From far he could hear all that Krishna there told. Vyasa had intuitive intelligence, the wisdom of Vibhuti Yoga. Divine powers with obvious proof, Vyasa here showed, mentioned in Yoga Darshan, Patanjali that composed. Think upon one more point, Pandit, dear friend. Dhritarashtra too heard the Gita with mind equally intent. The entire Gita he heard, but got no peace of mind. Ponder, Pandit, dear, what could be the reason behind? After hearing thy viewpoint, we shall move ahead. Nothing I can visualize, please tell, Pandit plainly said. I thought of it but couldn't question, hesitation held me. Whatever you say, those are the words of the Vedas for me. Shri Prabhuji said, Lust, anger and attachment are vicious enemies. The mind never attains peace when haunted by these. One heeds not to wisdom when blinded by passion. Dhritarashtra was in such a state, passionate to his children. Wisdom appears as inanity. From passion it is hard to arise. Do you agree, dear Pandit, or you view it otherwise? Pandit said, My Lord, profound wisdom today I got. Never heard so ever before the deeper aspect you taught. It's my sole ambition, the entire Gita I shall study. Shri Prabhuji agreed to teach, knowing Pandit's curiosity. Before studying the Gita, it must be remembered, the Gita is a scripture of yoga, Vyasa himself declared. Bear it in mind, scriptures of yoga begin with detachment whether it be the Yoga Darshan or the Yoga Vishesht. First chapter shows detachment, no obsession to the world. Detachment is the first condition for realization of God. Thus ends the foreword. Om.